to be More people like you More people who give so willingly To people like me It's plain to see With people like you Folk have a better break To take to people like me Your caring smile Makes working worthwhile When pressure's on you Carry on through every trial You're really great I appreciate You've got the goods For what it takes To make people like me What an interesting life I lead. I go to parties and weddings and theatres and people come to me and I have a great life. Now, I went to a party quite recently. It was my editor's birthday, Nolan. It was Nolan's birthday and he had a lot of friends there. And this man got up and he said the most fantastic poem. Now, I said to myself, I must have that poetry on my show. So. Here he is. I've got Alan Clark here. Now, Alan, how about reciting that very same poem for us? Will you do that? Oh, I'd love to. Thank you. Um, yeah, several years ago, I tried to put myself into a, into a lady's um, position. And, uh, a lady's position? Yes, what do you mean? And, and to, to just think about, the, um, about oh. the kind of life she had as opposed to, oh, to being see. a man. Yeah, very so good. I wrote a poem called A Woman's Life. A Woman's Mind. A Woman's Life. Life. Okay. Yes. A woman's life ain't easy. Much tougher than a man's. You disagree, then maybe you're a fool. A woman can't come home from work, sit down and watch TV, or go play with the kiddies in the pool. She has to cook the dinner and do the shopping too. The housework tends to drive her round the bend. The kitchen floor needs mopping. She has to clean the loo. No wonder she has a headache at the end. So when your day is over, and off you go to bed, your hands on tender parts begin to creep. You act so disappointed when she says, not tonight, rolls over, takes a pill and goes to sleep. You feel you're so hard done by. You've slaved all day at work, entitled to relax and have some fun. But just remember, mister, your fair share don't you shirk. A woman's job is never, ever done. That's it, John. Fantastic. Thank you very much, Alan. That was really, really, really great. And it hit a lot of people right there between the eyes because a lot of men do that. Not all men, mind you. Men these days have a much more open and understanding attitude towards women. But there still are fellas out there, aren't you? They, do you feel guilty? Did you feel guilty when you heard that? Oh, goodness me, I would have if I'd been that kind of a fellow. And that you do for, tend to forget when bedtime comes, oh, I shouldn't mention that on this show. This is a general viewing show. I forgot. But, you know, when bedtime comes, we do have trouble sometimes keeping awake. But never mind, Alan. What else do you do? You write a lot of poetry? Uh, a lot of poetry, yes. I started when I was about, about seven or eight years old. It was picked up you in school. You started writing poetry when you were a little boy, seven or eight years old. Yes. Imagine that. Yes, just, have just you a few had any years published? Ago, yeah. Uh, no, I've never had anything published. No? I've got, got some you, on the uh, on the website. But uh, you've got copies of all these poems, I Yes, hope. I've got copies. Oh, hard yeah. copies and... We'll put and, them all uh, on the website and we yes. can print them up and make a little book out of it. They're all on the Street Mission website. That'd be terrific. Yes. And thank you very much. That was terrific. Oh, you're welcome. And when you get all this poetry together, um, we'll have you back and we'll ha read some more of your poetry, OK? Because I do like poetry on this show. Thanks a lot, Alan. You're welcome. Thank and you very much see you for later. Bye bye. There ought to be.